Okay, in this tutorial of the Android Marshmallow tutorial series, I'm going to try running the video application on Marshmallow. And I don't actually do any reading or writing to files as such, I just use an intent. So I don't think I need to make any changes. Okay, I'll just show you what I've made, the changes I've made just to the Cradle file here. I've just updated the versioning of compile build tools here to version 23. I'm keeping the minimum SDK version to 21, target SDK version to 23, and I've just fixed the naming conventions for to com.mobattuts video app. So let's try running it and see what happens. Application started. Let's record it. Okay, so select record on the actual application itself. It started up the default Google video record application. Let's select record. Just record my computer. Save that. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, and my name is Nigel. Okay, video app does not work on Marshmallow as such, so we're going to have to add a permission to that. Uh, it's going to be the read external storage permission. So let's get started. Okay, um, I'm going to use my website just to help me out a tiny bit here. Um, we've got the details of what needs to be provided for the versioning just to get um, Marshmallow. But we need to add this um, compact, app compact dependency there. So I'll just copy and paste this in here. And we'll just put it into the dependencies here. Save that and we do have to do another sync. Sync's now completed. Okay, next step is to go into the Android manifest. For this application here, I didn't need to provide any permissions because I was just calling the um, uh, Google camera application that was doing the recording for me. But um, because I'm using Marshmallow now, it's a bit stricter on the permissions. So the camera application does return us back a URI with the location of the video to load into our um, media player. Uh, we need permissions to load that URI or to load the file from the URI. So let's add a permission here in the manifest first. So use this permission, um, and it's going to be read external storage. We need to read the video from the external storage to play it on our media player, basically. That's what that means. Okay, that's done now. Now we can go into our actual source file. And if I go up top here, I do, um, for for the um, for the Marshmallow runtime permissions, we do need to add a uh, result r result. So let's add that now. And this this is called the the. Request read storage result and make it a different number than the member above us. So let's make it one. Okay, so I need to create a URI member in the overall activity itself just so we can access the URI from the activity callback. So here it is here. So let's let me create a member up here, then we'll change the names. So it's going to be a private URI, and we'll call it member video URI. So it's got some meaning for me. Okay, let's go back down to the on activity result there. So we're going to use our activity member URI here. So I can delete that 
and we need to set up the right naming convention and just fix the name here as well as such because I'm going to want to access this URI for the first time in installing the application in the um, on request permissions result uh, activity callback. Okay, so the main problem we're having here is this is where we're this, this holds the location of the file that we're going to load into our media player because that's happening from our application we need permissions here so inside this line here we're going to have to do our permission request so we'll start that now so um, let me just do a check for the build here because if we're running um, applications older than or this if we're running on operating systems older than Marshmallow we won't need to do this check. So we'll check the SDK version against it'll be version code .m for Marshmallow. Okay, so if it's Marshmallow or higher, we're going to do this check. So first thing we want to do is call. Call the check self permission first. We can just use this for the application context. And the it wants the permission name, so we get that for the manifest permission. And it's going to be read external storage, breeding that. Uh, URI which represents a file in external storage. So we do a check to see if we've had permission granted. So permission has already been granted. We've, we've previously when we've run the application, we've granted it. We can just call this line here, set video URI, URI for our media player. So that's fine, but um, if, let's set up the next line. But if we've actually denied access, we need to call the API that um, it's called if we've denied um, access to to read, read external storage for this application before. So we do a check here and we call this should permission. We provide the rationale of why we need to access this. Okay, and so we need to feed in the permission here. And here we'll provide the rationale in the form of a toast. Um, let's say need access to file to play the video. So we're explaining why we need access just so we can play the video. Hopefully that's self-explanatory for the user. Okay, let's complete that toast, make it length short, and we have to show the toast as such. So this will only show up if the user's denied access to read external storage prior, at a prior stage. Okay, or else we can just request permissions and create a new string here. and put in our permission let's read external storage and then underneath here we add our, our request code which is request read external result that we set up just before okay and the last part here is just to support applications um, older than marshmallow so let's put in a simple else and just move that line into there as such. Okay, so we've now set up our permission requests um, for Marshmallow or later. Now we have to put in the um, on request permissions result 
just to see if we get granted that request or not. So let's just add that callback down here. Okay, and it's public, void, and it's, I believe it's called on request permissions result. And the first one that's going to take us to the request code, simple int. Next, it's going to take an array of strings that represent, represent the permissions. Call it permissions. And last, it's going to take an array of ints that um, hold whether or not we've been granted permission, the results of our permission request. Let's just call it grant results. Our first thing we're going to want to do in here is to check um, the request code here. It's good practice to do that. So it's called request code. And check if it equals the request that we um, set up here, request read storage result. So basically we know we were responding to our original request. Now let's check to see if we got permission. And we can get that from the grant results. And check to see if we got permission granted there. Now, if we have been granted permission, we can then set our video URI as we did up there. So, so it's nvideo view dot set video URI, and that will be nvideo URI. So we can just call it there. And if we haven't been grant permission. Let's put up a toast saying what will happen because we don't have that permission. So let's just say cannot play video because we don't have permission to access the file. Something like that. And set a toast there for time, short, and then show our toast as such. And just for tidiness, we need to call this super constructor if we're not going to go and access our um, request. So let's do it from inside the if. Put another else. Call this um, super constructor here. It'll be on request permission result. And we just have to pass in our um, method arguments. So request code, permissions, and grant results as such. And check for any errors. Doesn't seem to be any er errors. That looks good. Okay, now let's run this application and see what happens. Applications now started. Let's record that so you can see what's happening on the display. Application started. Let's start record. Press the record button. Just traverse my computer. Stop that. Save that. Okay, now we're getting asked permissions here. It says, um, do we want to allow the video app to access the photos? Yes, we do. Now we can select play. And the play works as such. Okay, with this particular application, because I, this application wasn't accessing um, the... Uh, files directly, we were just putting in our request for an intent. 
um, one could suspect that, oh yes, uh, this should run fine on Marshmallow, but it didn't because the URI that was being returned to us um, represented a file in external storage and we still need permission to access that particular file which holds the video. So we did need to set up a exter uh, read external storage permission for, for that as, as you saw that we did there. Okay, so we've now got this particular video app application working. So I'm going to go through each one every week until all my applications are Marshmallow compatible. So that's it for this tutorial. And remember, if you want to get notified of all my tutorials on YouTube and you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. That's if you've got a PC. And around me, um, if you want to keep updated with all my latest notifications, um, I've got Twitter accounts, I've got Facebook, I've got Pinterest, and I've got Google+. So if you've got a PC, you can click on those accounts and um, follow me for the latest news and updates I do to that. And importantly, directly above me is my website. And that's where everything comes together. So the point of source, the point of source for everything, that's got details of GitHub, it's got all the various code code changes that have been made in a brief description to them, as well as the video itself. So that's a centralized point of everything. So um, I recommend to check out the posting on that page as well. And I'll put that in the descriptions as well as a link on the video. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.